What's guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be to the second episode of Shadow's House. This one's titled Outside the Room. So yes, I think it means we're finally going to be able to go outside of our room and actually meet and mingle with other living dolls, I guess? Other um, owners or masters of the house. What, what, what did they call them in the end? I can't remember. Uh, I think they just call them nobles, right? I don't I don't know beyond that uh, what they refer to them as. Um, but this show is definitely... It was a very light-hearted and easy start in, which works very well for it. It set itself up, it set up our main two characters that we're going to be following in the form of Emilico and Kate. Um, I still... The whole living doll thing, it's creepy. Especially the way they showed them bringing them in by train and drinking something. It almost feels like they were just normal kids and human kids that resembled the nobles. And then have been forced into the servitude of them. That's kind of what it feels like based on the whole train thing going on. Uh, and have them casted in and drinking something. So there's there's a line of creepiness here that is very, very unnerving. <laughs> like, very unnerving. And I love that because I know that throughout this entire episode and the entire season, we're going to be towing that line of, hey, look at all this cutesy stuff. Everything's all fine and normal. But wait, what was that? Like, the sinister aspects of it, that just, you don't quite know until you know. Like, why was there a soot mite, or whatever the hell it was, running around? Why was there a living thing of soot running around in all of that? Like, that made no sense to me. Why was it running around? It's like, if it was like a an actual mouse or something that was just covered in soot, whatever. But Kate stomped on it and it just puffed into soot. It was kind of creepy. I don't know what was up with that. I I don't know if there was anything more meant behind that, but it was kind of weird. And also Kate did not want any makeup put on her, even though it would reveal the face, was very much against it. And there's obviously, and there seems to be rules against dressing up the living dolls as the nobles for some unclear reason, again. Um, so there's just little bits here and there that are just kind of like, that's kind of weird, or that's odd, and... The fact that we even have living dolls like this, why are they exuding soots? Like, there's just so much weird creepiness to this idea that you know it's going to be exploring that as time goes on. And I'm very much looking forward to that, so I guess we'll see what this episode throws at us. I assume we're going to meet some other of our characters. It looks like there's a main group of uh, five that we'll be focusing on, just judging by the cover art uh, for Shadow's House. It looks like there's a main five. Um... Two, uh, three guys, two girls. Uh, so maybe we'll focus on them. We also, we did see one of them... I think we did see one of them last week when we were looking outside. We tried to wave at them, but then they gave us a look. So maybe we'll meet that one first. Uh, but kind of curious to see what happens when we do meet other people. You know? I guess we'll see. So uh, go and load the episode up here. Uh, as per usual, these are time-based four actions here on YouTube. If you want to see the full Patreon picture, you can go to my Patreon down in the description below. £4 a month gets you access to all Patreon and Patreon actions I do on the channel, which is everything from the seasonal lineup of shows that you're seeing here. Six shows of which today, which we somehow managed to get through again. Um, we also have Patreon quest shows such as Log Horizon, Wild Trigger, and Symphony Gear G that are available on the channel. Uh, if you want to see any of the scheduling stuff, you can go to my Discord for that. Uh, but we also do movies as well, so Weather and View the Movie will be coming later this month, as voted on by my patrons. So you can go check that one out as well. Um... But here on YouTube, we do time base, so bubble left the screen, you'll see a time of the episode. I can down three to one play. Then I'll play the episode, I saw the episode, and we should be in sync. Watching this one on uh, Funimation, since they licensed it, we have the Applex logo, then the Funimation logo, so about 12 seconds of logos, give or take. Uh, I'll call them out as we go past, but you can also see the screen flash on my face, the mic, and on my headset to tell when the scene transitioning. Uh, that should help me sync it up quite easily. So, with all that said, let's get into this week's episode, shall we? In three, two, one, play. Amplex. Information. Cheers. Basically finished that off already. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Music. 
Also, who's feeding them? It's also something I would like to know. Who is feeding them? Mm hmm. Why was today worse than usual, I wonder? Interesting, also blackened out. Mm-hmm. Well, this is a huge-ass place, so... No pee time! It's very weird to have OPs without lyrics in it. You don't get this too often. It honestly feels more like an ED than an OP in a soundtrack. Who the hell is that? A non-living doll that's actually drawn. Makes you curious, doesn't it? Maybe he's the supplier of the dolls? Alright. Here we go. Outside the room. Oh! There, so there are... People actually doing this. Oh, hello. Mia, okay. I'm sure. Hmm. 
Let's see it. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Huge grand hall as well. <laughs> there really are. <laughs> Raise me, okay. And that's loot, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Most okay. Exist to serve. Ah, soot suit. Soot suit's fun to say. Mm hmm. Still kind of creepy, but, you know. <laughs> hmm. Jesus. The fact that there's still that doll with no face is...
But you got the doll wet. Hmm. Another doll. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Still struggling to read, obviously. Gonna make a new dress for it. That's stuffing. Okay. Hmm. Adorable. <laughs> Just came off. Resolve the reason why it became like that in the first place, I guess, is part of the reasoning. Uh oh. That's going to fall off, isn't it? Yep. Oh, okay. Safe landing, I guess. Kate's actually leaving her room. Actually leaving her room.
Is she going to run into anyone? Any cuts or anything on her? Nothing at all? Okay. Oh, hello. Immediately, okay. Oh, little grandpa, okay. So there's an authority even amongst them. <laughs> I love how creepy this is. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay, so they are... Mm -hmm. More human than they let on. Sure. Mm -hmm. Learn? Don't fret notebook. Yes, because writing things down totally helps you forget them. <laughs> uh, right. Yes, who's that? Mm hmm.
ED tap. God, this ED fucking slaps as well, by the way. I love it so much. God, they put the mystery in, and I love it. Look, makes a bit more sense now as well. Oh, I'll spread it. Oh. The soot sickness. What the fuck? Oh, that was a creepy way to end it. That's a very creepy way to end it. Thanks for that. Um. Yeah. Okay. I love it. I love it. Okay. So yeah, it seems like the conduct outside the house, when they say that living dolls are their face, they mean it very literally. They have to be the face. So when we saw with Mia and um, Sarah, whatever Sarah was doing and acting, Mia was a direct copy of that and had to admit, had to be the exact facial representation and physical representation of what Sarah was saying. Obviously, he did not have to mind what Sarah was saying, which would have been even creepier, I think. If, if Mia had to mime exactly the words as well with lips... That would be really creepy because it would imply that the doll would also know exactly what Sarah was thinking of saying in the exact moment she was saying it. That would be even creepier. So I'm glad it doesn't quite extend that far. But yes, they are the face of each of them. Which means Emilico would be required for Kate... Yeah, would be required to do the same for Kate whenever Kate would leave outside the house. And it's something that Kate doesn't seem super comfortable of doing. Perhaps because they've only just got their living doll. Huh. It, it's... I love the mystery of the building. I love it. I, I really, really do love it. So I'm guessing by debut... I suppose this time before Emiliko is ha has to debut, as it were, is for her to really get to know Kate... To the point where she mimics Kate exactly. Just like Mia was able to mimic Sarah. That was so brilliantly creepy and I love it. Now why Mia has all that soot hands and stuff in her room, I do not know. But I love, I just love this. I love the direction we're going with this. And having that mystery and suspense just slowly be drip thread to you. It's like, it's like not going all out to show you everything about what's going on, but it's posing the question here and there on exactly what's going on. Again, living dolls, they're not really a doll, though. They have human physicality in the fact they can be scraped. They require to eat like a normal person would. There's still a mystery of why the hell they are soot and why they exude soot. Like, what is... I? Well, the next episode is called Soot Sickness, right? So, I guess we're going to expand on what the sickness actually is. If it's actually a sickness that afflicts these people. 
and this family. And why it's called the Shadow's House is because they are a family afflicted by the soot sickness, I guess. But they can't get rid of it. Also, who's grandfather? That's kind of what I want to know now. Who is this Lord Grandfather that we're meant to be in fear of? Hang on, I just want to go back to a specific line that was said there. Um, it's going to take a second because scrolling through information is. A failed shadow and face. Now, he said shadow and face. Didn't just say surely such a failed face would be discarded. It said shadow and face. Implying that maybe the shadows are also on the chopping block in case things go badly. That would be even more messed up. But something about the whole term of shadow makes me feel like that's also relevant in it. Now, this might be going completely off base, but... What if the shadows are literally just that, shadows of the former people that used to live in this house? Like, these people, they're not actually real, they're just the shadows of the people that once were, and having these faces is an attempt to maybe get back to a point where they can be real living people again, or something like that. Like, that's where my mind's going now with this. But... Implying that the shadow can also be discarded by Lord Grandfather. I don't know if that was just a translation thing with the subtitles, or if it was intentional less implying that the shadow and the face can both be discarded, rather than just the living doll face part. I don't know, but... Man, this is creepy. Man, I love the fact that it's so creepy. And seeing the way that uh, Sarah and Mia were in coordination there was... Beautiful way to in, uh, to implement that sort of idea into our heads. I love it. I really, really love it. So I guess we'll see what happens next week. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did. I'm loving this show so, so much. It's got that right mix of entertaining, happy, and super fucking creepy that could be so dark and we don't even know it uh, that I think really helps this show. Um, kind of what kind of hooked people into... The idea of the promised Neverland and the idea of like these kids are just being farmed and you don't even know about it with the demons and stuff. It's kind of riding that line, but drawing that suspense out even further. We all know something's up with this entire situation, but we just don't know what. And they're playing it slowly over the course of the season and it's working wonders. It really is. But anyway, uh, thank you everyone for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the episode as well as your comments, what you thought. Don't forget to hit subscribe as well to see next week's episode as well as the rest of the spring 2021 line you can find here on the channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.